Right, hello again everyone. Um, just going to do a video of the Hornby Class 91 set, which I've had for a few years now. And finally going to sell it. Here it comes again, and look for this station. What an old old bird. So, as I mentioned, um, I'm going to sell the Complete 91 set um, to OO Virgin Trains 1 who's also on YouTube. Um, just going to do a short video on what the local uh, has and the qualities that it brings to any layout. So uh, when it enters the station again, we'll stop it and we'll have a look at the loco. Here it comes now. I'll bring it to a halt. There you go. Right, this loco then. Uh, we'll leave him on the track, I think it would be better save on a couple of them. So what we have is 91003 in the Hornby Intercity, sorry, Intercity Swallow Livery. This is a Hornby model of course and it's nicknamed the Scotsman. Very nice nameplate, obviously not etched because it's a standard one. I wouldn't expect anything to be etched when it was first made as it's not the uh, youngest of model, but still a very good runner. Sadly, it has fallen out of favour on the layout, um, simply because of the fact that I wanted to do, um, well, we had a big thing with electrics, and I really did like them more than diesels for a period of time. Um, but because of the appearance of the layout, and also the need for overhead lines, um, I've now reduced the fleet from having about six or seven electric locos to now the 91 and the Res 86, which I'm keeping for a little while longer. So, a bit more about the loco 91003, inner seat swallow delivery made by Hornby, nicknamed the Scotsman. Um, also, so, uh, working isolator switch at the top so that will enable you to turn it off um, if you need to run something into the same siding as that without you know crashing so that's a good feature as with many uh, electric locos um, from Hornby also Pantograph these are the standard Hornby ones and they're locked in quite well because I know with uh, some stages you can have the issue that they do hit the tunnel and one hit bang they're gone they'll break so but they do come up. You can have that setting, or you can sort of just push it up fully. So it's good that it hell holds in that sort of position because it does. That's about the height where it doesn't hit the tunnel. But just in case it does that halfway through, you're going to get a smash pantograph and it locks back in on a simple metal piece. So that's the detail on the top, on the front. Looks very nice. So you see, obviously not spring buffers and no working lights because it is an early Hornby model. That what many of you all know is this the underside very nice looks very very good I, I do love it but sadly it's not got the place on the layout at the moment also selling the mark fours so I have seven mark fours and one mark four buffet car and then the DVT on the other end um, which is 82 class and I can't think of the number I'll get it as soon as it goes past. So uh, this is basically the overall of the layout. It's not a five pole motor because it's Hornby, but you have two traction tyres on the front, um, none at the back. But the uh, it does pick up very well. So always keep your tracks clean. It's going to run very well, and it does look good going for anywhere. Uh, but sadly, time to get rid of it and time to look into new things. So hopefully uh, this is what you wanted to see. Uh, OO Javelin, uh, sorry, OO Virgin Trains one. So uh, give you a shot of a going out and uh, any questions from anyone um, who wishes to ask them, feel free. Um, on the model or anything in general about the layout, feel free to ask and uh, I'll try and assist as much as I can. And for those who feel regular watches, I'll be bringing you a layout update very soon 
along with several reviews um, of some new purchases that I've made. So uh, hopefully the old girl's going to run out for the last time uh, on video, as long as the points don't mess it up again. So uh, thanks again for watching and any questions please feel free to ask. Thank you for watching.